We've made creating or adding a design to one of our products even easier. Who needs a run-of-the-mill, off-the-shelf product when you can create something wholly unique for yourself or a loved one? We've made our create your own experience more intuitive so you can better customize products we offer here in the Zazzle Marketplace. Let me give you the lay of the land so you can dive right in. Your starting place should be right here on our home page. When you land on our CYO page, you'll find that we have almost 1,400 different products to design for. I'll pick a custom wrap canvas print to add a design to and show you how everything works. So let's start designing. This area is called the design pod and it takes you into the design tool. I'm going to add two images. One is the background with pink polka dots and then an image also of a French bulldog from my computer. Make certain the advanced tools box is checked in the upper right hand corner so you get a more robust set of options to work with. To see those options, you need to click on the design itself. Here I'm clicked on, and now I've clicked off, and the extra tools disappear. I can change the size of the dog by using the scaling buttons here, or I can grab hold of any corner of the design and pull in or out to manipulate the size. I recommend that you turn your guidelines on so you can see how your image or design is going to print. Try to keep your design within this dotted green safe area or your design may get a cut off when the product is made. The blue line is the print line and that's where we trim the image. And the red boundary is the bleed line. You'll want to extend your background color or design to this line to avoid any white edges appearing after the trimming process. Okay, I can use a special filter if I want. I can crop the image. I can make the image fit or fill within this art view area. Let me use a different image to better illustrate what I'm talking about. Fill takes the image and fills the entire art view all the way to the bleed line. Fit takes the longest edge and elongates that edge to either the vertical or horizontal print line. Fill, fit. I can free rotate the image by grabbing here, or I can put in a specific percentage that I want to rotate. If I make my dog smaller, you'll see that I can tile the image. I can show the whites as transparent. That means, like your printer at home, our system processes white portions of the images and omits them. So if you choose to make your whites transparent, you can assume that all white areas within your design will assume the color of the product they are placed on. Now let's say you want to add another component to the design. You can change the order or layer of how they appear. Let's move this one behind the other. Go to Layer, Order, and move Layer Backward. Or you can arrange Layer Order by dragging and dropping objects in your list of designs. Now let's tackle alignment. Let's say we have six different colored dots that are all over the place and we want them aligned and evenly spaced. First, I hold down the control key, and then I use my cursor and click on the dots, grouping them. Then I can choose to either vertically align them or horizontally align them based on whether I want their tops, middles, or bottoms of each object to align. I'm going to choose their horizontal alignment across their middle points. And now I can evenly space them apart. Now let's look at what we can do with text. I can either upload, say, a graphic image like a JPEG of the text I want, or I can type out the text within the tool. Let's type out the word Zazzle. Just like with an image, I can scale the size. I can move it around within the art view. I can change fonts. We have kerning, so I can choose the distance each letter is from one another. I can pick a new color. and I can stack my text vertically. Or curve it up, or down. Additionally, I can change the degree of the curve. Also note that you can turn the grid lines off and on to help with placement. There's also smart guides that display when you are on the X and Y axis. Okay, now let's put a similar design on a t-shirt. We can decide if we want our design to just be on an ordinary white t-shirt, or whether we'd like to have it on a hoodie, a maternity shirt, or on a baseball raglan. Once we've made the decision, we can choose the color and size, and then we add it to our cart and we're ready to buy it. 
But wait, let's say you want to change something you've already added to your cart. Here's what you do. Go up to the shopping cart, click on the item, make the change, then add it to your cart again. You'll see the newly saved design there as well as the previous one. Delete the one you don't want. Oh, and there's one more thing I want to point out. Go back to the product page where you added the design. If you think you've designed something really special that you think other people will like, you can sell it in our marketplace and make money. Think about it. Just a little side money or a whole new career. You decide. Happy designing. We're happy to have you be a part of our community.